Hi, my name's Rich. Um, what we're going to do today is we have to do a little field machine on this piston. We're assembling a Kubota engine, a V1702 Kubota engine. And the new pistons, when it was machined, uh, the groove was not machined correctly, so the piston ring does not collapse while trying to install. So we have to set up something to machine this piston because the machine shops are all closed right now. So I'm going to set this up and I'll show you how we do this uh, uh, in the field. This is a piston set up in the drill press and what I did is I created a V as a stop for the piston. I'm going to use the drill press as a drive to rotate this piston. And this is the groove right here that we have to machine because this piston ring will not go in there. It gets stuck and then it won't go in the engine block. So this is the beginning of our setup here. So um, I'm going to go ahead and I'll show you the next step on the setup. So in machining this, we have to determine where this groove is located. And this table acts as a stop, so it's not this piston can't go anywhere. We already have got that stabilized. So what we need to do now is locate our tool, which this is our tool right here that we're going to use to cut our groove. I'm going to put this on here. I've shimmed this accordingly because I determined what I needed to do and how much I need to take out. I need to remove five thousandths out of this groove. So that's going to be the cutting tool. These tools are our support tools for our cutting tool. This one here allows me to watch the cutting edge. So we're going to set this up just like this and so this is how that's going to go on our on that part there I've made this bracket here and if you notice this has a little screw in it this is going to push this tool in as a slide to continue making the cut so we can machine it I'm going to clamp all this on because we're doing this in the field we don't have all the luxury tools so we've shimmed the bottom up so we know our tool is going to be right where it needs to be to make our cut. This is so that we don't have any deflection, this shim here, and this is a stop that keeps the tool from, going, from being kicked out of the way when it's starting the machine. So rigidity is important even though we're going to do this all by hand. Okay, so we're going to start, we're going to start our cut here. So if I, I had to make sure that when I turn this that it all my tool slides it all works fine so it's going in there real nice it has a lot of it's very free to move okay she comes down and i don't know if you can get a better view of that that tool looks like in there but that's how it's going to look we do our machining what's going to happen is i'm going to rotate this like this and then i'm going to turn this in a little bit at a time and it's going to, once it makes contact, it'll start to cut. This is going to be my feed screw, so. Check it first, and if we have to machine it again, we'll machine it again. You can see our cutting tool did a nice job in there. See all the little metal chips. Let me see how this ring fits in here. Yeah, I don't really like it. I think we're gonna have to take a little bit more out of that. Um, these are my parallels. I'm gonna remove my parallels for right now because I know I'm gonna have to reshim. We have 20,000 shim underneath there. This is what we have. So what we're going to do, I'm going to pull that off there. I'm just going to do a quick little measurement just to see, yeah. 
This groove needs to be a hundred thousandths and it's only 95 thousandths. So we have to make it a hundred thousandths. We made our adjustments and now we're going to take a five thousandth cut. Um, we're done with our second pass. We're going to go ahead and take it apart and we're going to check it. You can see all the metal shavings there uh, from our machining. It looks like a pretty nice chip. So let's take it apart and see what we got. Let's go ahead and take a quick measurement. It looks like it's machined real nice. It has a nice finish. And we are at our ring will probably go in here if we take our ring and stick. Oh yeah, it has a nice fit to it now. The ring goes in like it's supposed to. Doesn't have it just has just the right amount. Perfect. So that's how we do a field machine when we don't have a machine shop available. And when they made the part brand new, they machined it incorrectly. So we were able to correct it and now we'll finish assembling the engine. Okay, so now that we've done all our machine work and now we're gonna install this piston in the, in the cylinder block and it's ready to go. We know our rings all fit. Now they're going to collapse like they're supposed to. We've set them where they're supposed to be. Now we'll just put our ring compressor on. Okay. Just like that, and that's how it's supposed to go in. We know we did a good job. So thank you for watching my video, and uh, hopefully I can make some more of these.